Hi, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I made a couple of journals. Uh, I'm going to share with you one, and I call it a true junk journal. And someone asked me, what does a junk journal mean? So I thought I would share with you some of the stuff that I use when I make my journals. So for instance, um, I use a lot of cereal boxes because of the chipboard. This is a little bit softer. This is paper that um, I use you get from like when you buy scrapbook packs, the big packs, and this is like the cover or in the back of it's a little bit more sturdy. You can use that as chipboard. And then on this particular one, I'm using coffee cozies. You know, when you get your hot coffee, they put these in so you won't burn yourself. So I have a bunch of these, but well, actually I should show you. <laughs> I have a lot. So I said one day I'm gonna use them. And in this particular book, I did use a lot of them. And then what I did was I, covered them with some scrap paper like for instance here and then I thought well what will fit in there so on the chipboard that I was talking about earlier I just cut them to fit and then my sister helped me with just putting some washi tape on all of them and you'll see the different um, styles in here and I save almost too much I talk about how much I collect these are just the Netflix, <laughs> and then they have these cute sayings, happiness delivered, and I thought, oh, that would be a neat saying inside of a book. Um, same thing here. They'll say, tell your friends and parents, and this one's cute. It says it's not about the gossip, and then sometimes we get junk mail, like marketing. So this was cute, and I thought, oh, I love this, and it's basically just an ad. So I thought, oh, that was really cute. Here's another one um, from, I guess it's a eye specialist and I thought that was really cute because it says a Denver Bronco eye exam and we all know how the Broncos did last year so we won't talk about that anymore so other than that I just grab stuff I save it to make a junk journal and <laughs> this is what a junk journal is so this particular one um, that chipboard that I was talking about that's what I used makes it really soft and flexible and then when I take out texts from books, when I do altered books, I like to make a little collage with that. So that's what I did there. And even though I think there's like six pages here, maybe seven, I add so many mini, mini folders. So there's so much opportunity to add your memories, you know, pictures, tickets to a movie, whatever the case may be. And I also added some swag. <laughs> um, a young lady named Libby bought some of my books and I was so happy. And she sent me some swag. And what I call swag is like sharing stuff that you have. I think it came from like embroidery from curtains or something like that. And then people share it. So I just use that as just little um, swag, leftover material, um, ribbons, napkins, whatever, and this sharing with each other. So that's what I reference when I say swag. So my sister sends me a lot of swag. But anyway, here's some of those little mini folders. So, so much opportunity. I have photos in the front and back. And then I have these little wood pieces that I found. I think it's the Dollar Tree. So, just a lot of nice stuff. Here's some of that ribbon that Libby sent me. And she also sent me some napkins. Now, I'm not sure if this is one of the napkins, but some of these napkins are inside. And then here are those cozy cup holders. So, I here's some ribbon from Libby. And then I added places to add photos. So, I did some layering there. And then I wanted to make sure and make there was room in the back when you pull these out that you had extra room to add photos. And then here is another pullout. And here is some of that ribbon, some more ribbon that, that Libby sent me. So I love to utilize as much as I can. And then here's a little cute, um, I don't know what it was, was, there were like little perfume bottles and I think it says love you forever. And then I had some extra wood pieces. So this is a camera, and then anytime I had a tag, I put an eyelet in there, and then I just put some um, ribbon or some string to tie it. And then here's another little folder, and I had some more of these wood flowers, so I colored them, and I added in, added them into this book. Place to put a picture there. I just like to have these little tabs to remind people that there's something behind it. And then here's another one, and this is a little wood piece, and it's an umbrella, so you can open it up. And it says, with you, I am home. Here's another napkin. This, on this particular book, I use napkins um, for each of the pages. And then here's two of those um, cozy cup holders. And I put on here, I think that says, let's stay home. And it says, hello home. And then here's some more ribbon, kind of mixed a variety of different ribbon. 
And then you can see when you pull this out, oops, got a little stuck there. Just put some sayings, enjoy the little things, places to put photos there too, another place to put a photo. And then I have a bunch of these um, wood flowers. And so what I did was I painted them just to give them some color. And then you pull this out. This is my heart, lots of great places. I also added, this is canvas. I had um, this one canvas print that I did crazy stuff on it and I didn't like it so I just cut pieces off and I just added it to this book. So neat things there. You can see here's some more folders. I used um, canvas material as the tabs. So you can open them up, put a picture there. Here's some more here. Here's like a mini one. There's another one. Oh, and on this side there's another one. It says sunshine in, sunshine's in my heart. Sunshine's in my heart. <laughs> I can't read that. And this says thinking of you. And then here's another one. This one says love. And I don't know if you've noticed the different um, washi tape. I'm not a fan of washi tape. I don't know why I buy it, but I keep buying it just because I like the style. And then here's another tag. I put another eyelid in there and just some string. And you can see back here another place to put some photos. This one says smile. So there's some material there. And then here's some washi tape there. This is just le leftover scrap paper. I like to save everything and just put it together and layer it. And then that one right there says just for you and I colored her in. Just cute. I did, um, actually this is the one, some napkin that um, the bee gave me, so added there. And some more material, another folder. Just, just lay it out, just put different layers, and then here's the end. And then this is something that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a logo or something. It says perfectly imperfect junk journals. Um, I made some of these that were too big, so I'm going to try to include those with all of my books that I make. And then that's the last page. You can see there's more washi tape. So thank you so much for stopping by. Um, please like and subscribe and visit my Etsy channel. Thanks so much and you have a great day.